Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about how we can collect standard XRD data along with the data of our samples. So here I'm having the standard CVM of my data and the data of some of my samples. So the very first thing is we have to get standard XRD data. If you don't know how to get standard XRD data, then you can watch other videos on my channel. And if you have any problem while downloading the PDF or the JCPDS card numbers, then do let me know in comments. I will try my best to provide you with the one. So here I'm having all this data I already copy and pasted in origin. So the very first thing you have to do is you have to uh, set, um, uh, you have to label the accurate x and y axis of our data. As we know, the angle is going to be on the uh, x axis and intensity on the y axis. So it is labeled like this. So I'm going to label this. It's the x axis of my sample one and is the x axis of my sample two and is the x axis of my sample three. So after that, simply select all the data. Simply select all the data and then go to the plot. And we, what we have to do, we have to plot stack lines by y offset. Click on this one and you will see a plot in just like few seconds. Oh, so here's our plot. So now we, uh, we can see that the, our, the plots of our samples, they are just fine, but the reference data is not that uh, interactive and is uh, so we have to make it a bit more appealing. So to do this, what we have to do is firstly, we have to click anywhere on the plot. After clicking on this one, what you have to do, you have to make all these flowers independent. So click independent, apply, and click OK. Then what you might see is that these graphs are overlapping. So there is no rush. What you have to do is double click again. And this time you have to select this layer option. Select this layer option, go to stack. And then here we can see that it's auto selected as 10% gap. So what you have to do is make it individual and make it y axis. Uh, what is gonna happen is that in this way, you will be able to move your plot in y axis direction. If you want to move your graph also in x axis direction, then select this one as well and in this way you will be able to move in x-axis and y-axis as well so here i'm gonna select only y-axis so apply this and then click ok so it's now applied so what you have to do is select any of the graph and you can move it like this it's quite interesting this is our second graph. This is our third plot. And this is our standard CM server. You can move it according to your own your types. So here in this one, so we can see that still our standard cesium oxide data is not uh, in, in the form which we want. So what we have to do is we just have to the once more is that is click on this plot again. And in this time you have to make sure that the specific graph type, specific plot is selected in here. Just go in there and go to the line option. And here you can see that the connection type here is the straight line. So what you can do is you can select either uh, the straight line, no line, or something like this according to your address. So here I'm going to select no line, apply. So this graph is just appeared, but there's no rush. We're going to get it back very soon. Now you have to go to the drop lines. Now what you can do is we can drop lines in either vertical or horizontal direction. In this time, I'm going to drop in the vertical direction and you can select any of the lines, just like the solid line, dash line or whatsoever. So I'm going to keep it the solid. 
and the, for the width i'll go for one and half and just simply click apply and click ok and now here you can see that we have our standard xrd data as well along with our uh, the data of our sample so is it, it is uh, looking like quite good for the publication and to include in your dissertations or report if you like this video please subscribe my channel and if you uh, want to learn more about region pro or related software please uh, uh, go to my channel and watch my other videos see you in the next video